Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So my usual what did I get goes up on a Thursday, but the stuff that I had coming didn't come till today. So I am filming it not long after I've got it, but I had a little kind of play with some of it and I'm really, really happy with what I've got. But first of all, I want to talk about embossing folders. So I shared my designer handbag tutorial this week and I mentioned in the video that I would love to know if anybody can direct me to a large A4 embossing folder and the lovely Erin, thank you, she shared this link to me. It's from Crafts2, I will share the link below. And this one here was actually really good price as well. It was, oh where's my, oh, I don't know where my invoice is for that one. Anyway, like I said, it'd be linked below but it was a good one. I haven't opened it yet. I'll take this one out, but if you see closely, it's just like the Crafter's Companion one, which was the studded leather, but in the middle of these are little hearts. I mean, you could still cover it with a flat back pearl, but I like the little hearts there. Now, I wanted a large A4 one because I've got a larger size designer handbag tutorial that I want to do, so this one is lovely. So yes, I know you will need the larger die cutting machine for these ones, but those of you that do have it, check out the uh, tutorial that will be coming in the next few weeks because I've got a new series starting next week. Then I picked up this one, so this was a Gemini, the basket weave, so you can see there and this is just lovely for jumpers and it's going to look nice as well on gift bags. So again I will link them below. Honestly guys I probably had in excess of 60 emails and messages asking for links to the embossing folders. I can't help when things sell out, I can't help if things aren't even available when I use them in my tutorial, it's just how it goes. I'll try and help as far as I can but it's just, it, 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 it's, I get really frustrated myself when I can't share the links with you guys because I know how much you want to be able to do the tutorials but I try to do tutorials that you can still try and use, you know, that you can use your own supplies to make so, you know, don't worry if you can't get that exact padded looking embossing folder, use something else. People have been sharing on Mixed Up Crafters, lovely alternatives, okay? So I put out the inspiration there, then go look at your supplies and see what you've got. Then if you do desperately want the same one I've got, then yeah, I'll try and help you. But So that's the embossing folders. Then I had a voucher for craft stash. So I um, really loved these stamps. This is These three sets here are by Creative Stamps. Again, all the links will be shared below. But this one here I really like, and it's the Otterly Fabulous range. So I'm going to be making a nice card with that. Then I had this one here, which is the Sweet Sloths. Really, really cute and so nice to colour because they're just completely plain. So you can do all your shading and stuff. But my favourite one, there we go. Now this one is 3 99 it's a bargain. But the images are so good, nothing like I've got. Um, so it's the Fabulous 50s A4 stamp set. But the one that I really like is I love the boy eating his cake and I love the rocket, I think that's wicked. The burger one is really good. But my favourite is her because she is going to work through so many things. I can imagine her on the bottom of a gift bag and then loads of flowers across the gift bags. So it's almost like she's kind of opening up her arms and all these flowers are there, or a lovely big sentiment there, you know, saying welcome home or something. I don't know, I can just see her, the way that she is her expression, she can be used on so many different things. So I really, really like it. And she is a great size. She's probably about four and a half inches, I reckon tall. You've got really nice sayings, still an old classic. I like that one down there with the old car. You got him there, cool dude, with his tattoo and his like um, his cream and his what's it? What was the um, brill brill cream um, and his comb? Uh, shake, rattle, and roll. It's just really, really good. You got the steak there as well, so love it. Really can't wait to start using that one. So they were the stamps there, and then I got some more kind of essentials, I guess. So I've got the hook and loop. This is the twenty mil. These are the ones that I do kind of share a lot in my tutorials, so I pick these up. Then I also got another one of the silicone foam tapes. I love this. This is what I kind of use now all the time when I make shaker cards. I've got literally that left of my other roll, so I can get one little bit out of it. So I've just got another one of those. I love it. And then I've got the last one to complete my set of Daisy May Designs stamps and dies, and this is the daffodil basket. So you know my favourite flowers are daffodils and poppies, so I had to get this one. You've got the beautiful big die there to cut it out. You've got a lovely little label to cut out this here and then you can have thank you with love and I know I've got other little stamps there that say happy birthday so I can use this for many many things. I think it would make a lovely little get well card as well and you've also got the extra 
daffodil head so that you can do a little bit of decoupage you can stamp and cut that one and then stick it on top there and it's just really really pretty do go and check out Daisy May it's Claire Rowland she's the illustrator really lovely lady her her kind of style is just beautiful so sweet so yeah go and find her on Facebook because she's got some um, lovely inspirations there then also on my order I picked up the Nouveau Hybrid ink pad now I like to use alcohol markers and I like to use watercolour so I have my memento for my alcohol markers and I've got my Versa Fine for my watercolour and I'm pretty good with getting them the right way but there has been times when I've picked up the wrong one I've gone to then use colour and it's bled the hybrid is all in one so this hybrid here this is the black shadow you can use it with your alcohol markers and you can use it with anything water based and it's well from what I've seen it's brilliant so I've picked this one up here I've taken it out of the packaging already but that is what you're going to be seeing, seeing me use more. It says fast drying all surface ink. So yeah, can't wait to use that one. So that's the hybrid. Then I've picked up this here. I've seen lots of people using this on the Crafters Companion um, demos and it's envelope gum. So I don't like to lick envelopes um, and I, you know, when we get the pre-made ones, I will put a little kind of wet my finger or put like a wet um, sponge across it when I go to seal it. So I would still do that with this. But basically it will give you a professional finish on your handmade envelopes. So when I make a lot of those larger envelopes with my cards, I usually use double-sided tape. Now I can use this. So you apply a thin coat of gum to the envelope flaps and bond together. So you don't have to use it straight away either. So you can let it dry and it'll be sticky. So the only thing I would say, it's a shame they don't do it in more of a, a squeezy kind of tube style like these, something like that, because, oh, it smells like a nappy. <laughs> they don't tell you what it smells like on the TV. Oh yeah, it's got a bad smell. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, we'll see how we go with this. Once dry, unbonded, flaps can be re-moistened to seal the envelope so the people I've seen use it they just put their finger in there and after smelling this I'm not putting my finger in it so I have got the very thin little spatulas you know like the kids glue spatulas I'm going to use that for this so yeah you'll see it come up in the videos but um, I always like to share it now so that um, if anybody isn't is interested you can go grab it so there's loads in there as well they did say that it will last a very long time but yeah keep the lid on because it doesn't smell too nice then this is what I'm really excited about it's not brand new it's called the white fluffy stuff by cosmic shimmer and this is what it does it's brilliant now my mum actually had this so she's introduced me to this one but can you see here so this is all textured to look like snow so i want it for my christmas projects now i'm going to do a little demo so i didn't put too much on there but if you so it just goes out like glue okay so i'm going to put a little bit more on this time oh there we go all right so you just apply it you can see there then I'm going to grab my heat gun now I'm going to turn the volume off okay and you can just watch it hopefully I pick it up in the camera so I'm just going to get this warmed up hopefully that picked that up but can you see look at that look how raised it is you can see it on the side there there we go that gives you a really good idea this is going to look brilliant about um this is going to look really good around like windows just to give you that kind of snow effect around the bottom of the christmas tree it's really good you have to let it cool down because obviously that's quite warm don't you've got to keep the heat moving and don't hold the heat directly for too long because it will end up kind of browning it which could look good for a different kind of effect so i just i'm really pleased that it is drying hard now so i mean i wouldn't want to put that i'd want to put that in a protected envelope if it was something i was posting because i imagine it could get flattened but it is you know for when you give it to someone they're going to be able to see yeah it's got quite a funny texture it's like rubbery i think it's brilliant so yeah this is called the white fluffy stuff so you can get i think a larger um bottle I believe I'm not sure but yeah really really pleased with that and it has you can see how much that's lifted off and it does stay stuck like I'd have to really peel that off okay and then lastly I've picked up these John Nextdoor 
dies. Now they do do matching stamps as well but I thought I'm just going to get the dies first and then I can decide if I want to get the stamps. So the stamps will give you the detail on top of these flower and kind of vines and things but you can add the detail yourself as well so it's entirely up to you but I thought I'll get the dies because at least that way it's cut out quickly rather than me stamping and then having to cut it out if I was to buy them that way. So I wanted that so these are the Christmas collection but you do have this is edition dies this is edition dies so these are the three Christmas collection but they're all part of the Christmas collection I think I'm sure they were because they're all listed together but you can use this all year round so this one here I believe is called the Christmas Rose and basically every single one of them is a plate so you only, you only have to run it through the once, depending on obviously how many you want to do. So you have all your elements here, so you have to cut them in different colours. So that's really nice. You haven't got lots of loose dyes. But just look at the detail. So I inked these. So I die cut them all on white, and then I inked the centres in yellow, inked the outer parts in pink, and then I done all this in the, in the middle there. Now, now these also work brilliantly with the thin foam flower sheets. I don't have any, but I have ordered some, because I do want to try these with them, because especially the... Orchid here looks so real in the foam sheets. So you have more of a foam rainian, I can't even get my words out, flower. So that's the, I believe, the Christmas flower. You can see the little picture there, that's actually using the foam and it's on the top of like a gift box topper. And then in the background in white, they've used this here, which is your ivy. And this is, I love, out of probably all of them, take away the poppy because poppy is my favourite, but I love this because this is going to work brilliantly on so many different things. So I can imagine this on my gift bags, kind of coming down from like the handle or something. It's going to look really nice. Now you also get all these extra pieces as well, so you can really fill it up. But you, so that's all die cut from one plate, okay? And you can see again the inspiration on the picture. Now the stamp, I don't know how well it's picking up. Can you see all that detail? That's what the stamp would do. But when you kind of distress these with my my little barbarian tool that I've got, it creases the cardstock to kind of give a bit of a vine, like vein, sorry, um, look. And then you can distress that as well with inks. I haven't distressed that, that's just as it come. And then I've used my, like I said, that little stylus thing. But you can see the flowers there and what a lovely topper that would make on a gift box or on the card front and things like that. So that's that one there. But they don't give you names exactly of what it is. It just, there's literally, I can't see nothing on it. It's just the code. So it's got John next door, so J, N, D, and then 133, that's 144. So they obviously do stuff by codes here. It doesn't actually tell me like that that's the Ivy, for example. But anyway, these will all be linked below. So that was that one. Just touched on that one. So I went and just die cut it in white, and then I distressed the centres with yellow, and then I added with a fine pen there just some little black dots. And you get three on that one plate so you can make those three there so again if you just you know you, you get a lot of flowers with one pass and considering that was all done on white that's all i had to do i just cut that on white inked it up and i got those very quickly so if you want to double or you know make a really big cluster or something it isn't going to take you long to do which is what i liked and yeah the poppy is just beautiful so there is my poppy and you can see there again the inspiration of what they've done they've heavily distressed those they've got the black around the outer part also it's got the stamp on it so again if i bring it up you can see all like the vein detail there so you know have a little look because it's it's well they look lovely either way so really like it and again there's the plate with all of those on it i like these kind of dies this is crafting to me i like to put things together and kind of bring it to life so some people it might be a bit too detailed then that you know that's fine we've we've all got different things that we prefer but i do like to bring my dies to life especially this i think that looks really quite real actually when i see it in my monitor that looks like a real piece of ivy so you know you do that in different colors and distress it and stuff you can really bring things to life and you're you're definitely going to be seeing me kind of using these. I just think they're going to look brilliant. And then lastly, I've got this one here. Now you can, I think, it says, well, it says Christmas collection, but this can certainly be something that you can use, you know, all year round. Well, I guess more autumnal, but you can certainly add it to different things. So again, it doesn't say what they are. Initially, I see the helicopter seeds when I, when I, when I see this. So, you know, off like a sycamore, making the maple tree, things like that. But I also see, and I think that's what they've decorated them like here, your mistletoe. So 
this is mistletoe so I've put the three together and then I've used some flat back pearls in the center there and I've put that bow on and I've distressed it and everything but if you were to do this in brown and instead of having the flat back pearls had real dark brown almost nouveau drops it would look like the, the kind of dead seeds of the helicopters or you could have the nice fresh ones on the tree still still hanging so I like that I could kind of get a bit of both out of that so this is for mistletoe and I will be using this I'm gonna you know that's ready to go on a card really I think it looks really pretty but you also get the then the little fir cones so there's three there and again you can see the picture the inspiration and on the back there how nice does that look on the card that top is beautiful as well that was another thing that I saw they're really really detailed there's just so much going on with them you can see all the different colors you don't have to have light on top you can have dark on you know light on the bottom and yeah just have fun with it they really really are good and I can't wait to do more with them so you can see on that one there there's the plate and you get all your doubles you get the detail and the background the detail background detail background so that's your kind of three parts well six parts really for the whether you want it to be the helicopters or the mistletoe and then there's all your fur cones so yeah I wanted to get some dyes that were going to work for Christmas but also work all year round you know all these flower ones the orchid I don't have anything like that and I've got poppy stamps because the lovely Kimmy she sent me that beautiful poppy stamp the other day that one there I don't have a flower dye that's so full and has that detail in the center there are one two three that's four little dies to build that center up and once you add your inks and do all the distressing and stuff it looks beautiful and I've got lots of other leaf dyes and stuff some of the bright rosa ones are going to go really well with this which actually leads me on to these are my bright rosa edge builder dies and this one here has the lace edge uh, I mean the honeycomb would look lovely as well but this ledge one looks like lattice work looks like a you know a really nice kind of fence or something in a garden that I've got an idea to have this ivy kind of growing up the side there you could have it as a shaker card which I think was, is going to look beautiful you could have a couple of these and can you see already how that lovely card's starting to form so yeah I can't wait to start playing around with all these because I think they're just stunning so there you have it so that's what I got this week I can't wait to get crafting I'm really really looking forward to using these flower dyes a bit more and I can't wait to colour these lovely images in and yeah just play around with it all so you'll see it you know as always in my tutorials I use everything that I buy it doesn't sit there I have an what I call an inbox and in there goes all my new product and that's what I go to so that's my inspiration so I go to it everything is all mixed up so I can think that I go nice with that and I'm going to add that with that and that's what I like and that's why it's called mixed up craft because I mix everything up so anyway hope you've enjoyed what I've got today all the links as always will be shared below and I'll be back actually I think I am going to throw in a tutorial tomorrow Saturday don't usually but I've got so many banked that I think I can need to get a few out actually so yeah you'll probably see me again tomorrow thanks for watching bye